hello there once again. This is another of those remote sets. This time it's the Cobra 75 ST EU Multi, which is the current model. So it's all on the handset, but unlike the previous model, where the, all the radio is in the handset, the radio is back to going to a separate box, and I must say I prefer it this way. Looking at the way the circuit is, and I haven't got a circuit diagram, so it's a lot of guessing here. The transmitter lineup is, on a, is not adjustable, and all the inductors are preset, which is good in a way. I wouldn't be able to tell you how we set the VCO up, but the VCO is clearly there, and there are test points here and there. The master oscillator at 10.24 megs is down there but it's not adjustable for frequency so let's hope it's on frequency I've made myself a little diagram up of what's what there's not really a lot to tell you because a lot of these modern sets there aren't that many adjustments and and this is like that I had interesting feedback from a view of these videos saying that I wasn't using a bench mat now on the other three test benches here we've got rubber bench mats and what that does is to protect the product which you're working on from the roughness of a, of a bench top. Well <laughs> the reason we don't have a bench mat on here is that you won't be able to see the set because the, the contrast would be bad so if we got a black background instead of a white background it wouldn't work out very well. So well observed but um, we took the bench mat off this one so uh, the clarity was better. So don't worry, this set has got both the lids off so I won't be scratching somebody's brand new set which is coming for optimization. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we're on channel 20, we're on the UK band and um, we'll just see if it's on frequency and if it isn't, well, there's nothing I can do about it and it's on 27.79126 which is absolutely spot on. The next thing we need to do is to check that the power level is where we want it to be. And the power control is W3 on these sets. Transmit power. I'm just going to zoom in on those. And the first one there is W3. It's actually come out of the box doing 3 watts, which of course is why somebody's asked us to optimise this. And there we are now set to spot on the four. The bar graph on the display there also says four-ish, a little bit over. Um, there doesn't appear to be any presets. I don't know whether there's something in the mic, but um, anyway, it's going to have to be near enough on that. Um, the next thing we need to do is to check the deviation. And... I've definitely got that little oscillator we use somewhere. Oh yes, it's here. Let's switch the camera on. Ah, oh, wrong mode. Well, let's switch the camera on. And you'll have to take my word for it what the um, deviation meter here is reading. So I'm in transmit. And what are we getting? This is dreadful. It's one kilohertz. Now the deviation on these radios... It's W5, which is just here. We'll just check that with the whistle test. <whistles> that's spot on. And that's all I can tell you about the transmitter side of the Cobra 75 STEU Multi. So the power was W3, which is the top 
preset just there. The deviation W5, which is there. And that's it. So join me on the receive side of the video.